how's it going? Today we're going to be making a blueberry chicken salad with a like a lemony poppy seed dressing. So uh, in the past I've made like a mayonnaise based chicken salad that you would like make a chicken salad sandwich with. This is going to be a uh, sauteed chicken on a bed of lettuce with a lot of yummy ingredients. But the first thing I want to do is get started by making both my dressing and my marinade. So kind of doing double duty with this first one. Uh, so I'm going to start, got a mason jar. This is what I'm going to mix it all up in, but I am going to measure some things out. So I'm going to do a third of a cup of olive oil. All right. Third cup olive oil. And then a quarter cup of lemon juice. All right, so we'll see how far this goes. So it looks like it's going to take the whole lemon and I'm going to need to fish these seeds out. Okay, perfect. Quarter cup. I have this little mini strainer. There, there was a really seedy one, so I'll make it a little easier. I don't know if it made it that much easier because now all my bolts have been left behind. vinegar. This is the kind that has the mother in it, so I want to give it a good shake. Quarter cup. Now I am just going to eyeball it. I'm going to do two tablespoons of honey. And then just a couple of teaspoons of Dijon mustard. just unaware of it but I don't know I feel like when you're making a lemony dressing or anything kind of fruity poppy seeds come up on the menu I've got them so I'm gonna use them and then we're just gonna salt and pepper just to taste however much you you like all right I'm gonna put the lid on and shake this up Eventually cook 
four chicken thighs. We're gonna go ahead and get a marinating in this, but it is a salad that serves, depending on how hungry you are, up to four people. Uh, it's really more like two or three, in my opinion. Uh, if you want to do four, I would just add more of the side ingredients, unless you just really want more chicken. You could certainly add more chicken if that's the case. But when you look at this, I mean, this is a good, this is a solid half, half, no, it's more than half a cup of dressing. So it, way too much dressing for two to four people. All right. And so, as I said, this is going to double as both a dressing and a marinade. So I'm going to go ahead. And I've got just boneless, skinless chicken thighs. I'm gonna get them in this bag. Okay, and then I am gonna pour one third to one half, you don't need a ton, but one third to one half of this over the chicken. Once it goes in with the chicken, it's no longer safe to eat. So that portion, when we go to cook the chicken, that'll just get thrown out. But the rest you wanna save and use as your salad dressing. Okay, so that's probably about half of that. They got poured over the chicken. So this is, uh, I love making salads like this. So it took just a few minutes. Uh, I don't even think that took five minutes to pull all of that together. Um, quick to make your dressing and your marinade. You just wanna kinda toss it around, get everything coated. And when you marinate it, make sure you're, or when you refrigerate this, make sure your bag is laying down so the chicken gets coated. If you're able to flip it over halfway through, please do. Um, but I pull this together in either the night before I'm gonna make the salad or the morning up. Uh, boneless skin, or just chicken thighs, boneless skinless or bone in, skin on, either one. Uh, they're great, dark meat chicken. It's gonna work really well with the marinade. It's not gonna make it too tough. I know some pieces of meat, if you marinate them too long, they'll get too tough, especially with as much acid as is in that, as is in this marinade. Um, that's not going to be the case with this. You can easily marinate these overnight uh, without an issue. That said, if you're throwing this together at the last minute and you just completely forgot the marinade, it's fine. Just sear off the chicken. It won't be quite as flavorful, but it'll still be delicious. I'm going to sear it off in a saute pan. You could grill this as well. I'm not really the griller in our household, so I'm not going to be grilling today, but you definitely can grill this if you'd like to. Um, and then after that, it's just cooking the chicken in a pan and assembling all the ingredients for the salad. So I'm going to get this in the refrigerator and we will come back later today and I will sear this off. All right, so we're back. My chicken has been marinating for several hours, as I said. Marinating it overnight or the whole day is fine, but if you forget and you don't have time, you don't even have to marinate it, or you could just marinate it 20, 30 minutes, whatever you have. So I'm gonna take this out of the bag, and you definitely, you want to get this chicken blotted off. If I put this directly into the pan, which is preheating over medium high, if I put this right into the pan with all of this dressing on it, or all this marinade on it, all the marinade is going to burn. And just, just trust me on that. <laughs> it is going to burn. It's going to smoke up your kitchen. It's going to dirty up your pan more than it needs to be, making it hard to clean up. You will have to scrub it then. So you definitely want to blot the marinade off. All right, I'm gonna get some paper towels to blot the top off with. All right, so I'm just gonna press down paper towels on both sides and get this marinade blotted off. So I've still got a little, a few poppy seeds stuck to them, but other than that, most of the marinade has been blotted off. Let me scoot this down so you can see a little better. Okay, so I've got my pan preheating over medium high. Just gonna put 
good amount of olive oil in it being boneless skinless chicken breasts they're not going to give off it. these are a little fattier than what i'm used to seeing but they're not going to give off a ton of oil so you definitely want to make sure that you put enough olive oil in there there was salt and pepper in my marinade but i probably i blotted a lot of it off so i am going to lightly salt and pepper these And now we're just waiting for the oil to come up to temp. All right, so I'm gonna put these seasoned side down. And some of these are a little thicker than others. I don't know that I'm gonna be able to cook them all at the same time. I might. Yeah, just barely. Okay, so I'm gonna get this side salted and peppered. Again, I'm just doing it lightly because they did get some from the marinade, but I blotted a lot of it off. All right, so raw chicken, I gotta get everything cleaned up, hands washed, and uh, I'm just gonna let that start searing and then we'll come back and put the rest of our salad together. All right, I'm gonna keep the lid on that. It keeps it a little bit quieter. It's also gonna make it cook a little bit more quickly because it'll get hotter inside, but I will check on it every now and then. But I wanna go ahead and start assembling the rest of our salad. So, big surprise, we're gonna start with the bed of greens. Any kind of lettuce that you want is fine. Uh, I just have a little spring mint mix here. But you do whatever, whatever you would like. All right, so this is a blueberry salad. As I said, and I've rinsed, I've got, I'm not gonna use most of these. I've rinsed all these off and put them back in the same container. Maybe not the smartest thing, but whatever. Uh, so I'm gonna do some blueberries. And it's really just as many as you like since I'm building this salad individually. My recipe, which is, again, for two to three people, but could potentially be for four people, just depending on your family and who you're serving, I call for a, a whole cup of blueberries. But I am just making a salad for myself for lunch right now, so just going to give you an idea of it all. Uh, and then... The recipe calls for a, an avocado. I purchased these little mini avocados, so I'm just going to use, that is why it looks so small. It's supposed to look so small. It is a mini avocado. I am probably just going to use half of this for me for lunch. are probably going to be brown by the time I show them to you, but we'll see. All right, then uh, I call for a quarter of a red onion sliced up. So that is exactly what I have left over from a few a couple of days ago when I made tacos or something. I don't remember for sure what we made. I am just going to do a few slices for myself, though. But I am, since it's onion and it'll, it can handle it. It's not avocado, right? It's not going to turn on me. I am just going to go ahead and slice the whole thing up later. All 
right, already prepared for dinner. I'm gonna check on the chicken. Now, I will say putting the lid on it does kind of cause the top of the chicken to steam. So even though I'm getting this a lot quicker and it's mostly I'm doing it because it cuts down the noise as far as filming, um, the color isn't gonna be as great as if I didn't do the lid. So normally I would not put a lid on, but. I'm just gonna go ahead and flip, not getting any resistance. And I do have a little color on it. All right, lid back on and I'll finish making our salad. Uh, so next I'm going to do uh, some almonds. My recipe, I'm reading my recipe that I made. It calls for hazelnuts and it calls for feta cheese. What I have on hand, I have a lot of different nuts on hand. I just don't have hazelnuts at the moment. I'm going to use almonds instead and I'm going to use crumbled goat cheese instead. Uh, I did it, I'm making another salad later that I definitely want to use goat cheese in. I didn't want to buy both goat and feta and have half of each left over. So. But it's very versatile. You can use any 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 cheese that you want. You can change your vegetables. You don't have to do blueberries. Probably wouldn't call it a blueberry chicken salad if you don't, but you could definitely use a different berry or a dried fruit. You don't have to use avocado if you don't like it, right? It's all just what you want. And I call for a cup of hazelnuts. That is a good bit, but again, this recipe is to serve two to four. You use however many you want to use though. Um, I, we, I'm just, in the end, this will just serve, well, it'll technically serve three since I'm having it for lunch. I'm gonna have it for dinner also. So I'm just gonna go ahead and chop my almonds up, um, all of them up, so I don't have to redo this. But I probably poured out about half a cup of almonds. And there we go, just a rough chop. So I'm just gonna put handful on here. And then what's left is my goat cheese, right? Yeah, yeah, double checking. It's just the goat cheese left. So I will crumble that on. Set that aside. And so here it is. Here is the salad minus the chicken, which we'll get to in just a second. So you can see our, you got your avocado, got your blueberries, almonds, red onion, goat cheese, and I'll put the chicken right in the center when it's finished cooking. So I'm gonna take the lid off um, and uh, hopefully be able to get a little bit of color on this chicken. All right, so I had this one teeny tiny little piece of chicken thigh. I am gonna go ahead and cut it up and put it on the salad. I'm starving and then I can just go ahead and eat lunch while the much larger pieces of chicken continue to cook. But this little guy is definitely done and it's plenty for my lunch. So right in the center and then give my dressing another shake and just drizzle it over the top as you would any salad dressing. So specific in those directions. All right, so that is it. You can see, mostly you're just gonna see the poppy seeds on it, but we've got our chicken in the middle, surrounded by, as I said earlier, some delicious yummy vegetables to go on it, and a, a very easy to throw together, but very flavorful, uh, salad dressing that goes with it all. Um, remember, you can make your marinade slash dressing the night before or the morning of. Just get your chicken in, half of it, which is your marinade half. Let that sit overnight, all day, or even, you know, 20 minutes if that's all you've got. Uh, and then while the chicken cooks, you are just throwing the rest of the salad together. So it's a really simple and easy, easy dinner option. Thanks for joining me today. Bye.